everybody. Welcome to the All Seas Collector's Edition podcast. My name is James. I'm your host, followed by the beard, Chris Packham. What up, guys? AJ? What's going on? Ken behind the camera, representing that Fool's Gold Barbecue. Yeah, Fool's yeah. Gold. Trish, uh, Brian Rogers. my wife, my co-host, not here yet. She's running late, as she has a couple times lately. Stuck in traffic. Blase. Let's go. Our guest, Bumpy, also had something come up today, so we will not have a guest on this podcast, but we will uh, hype up his comic book for for everyone and talk about it at the very end of this show. And uh, the podcast with Bumpy will be postponed, hopefully, for a later date. I hope so. Hope yeah, we'll get back so. in a couple weeks. Right? I got questions. We like, we like having Bumpy on here. Yeah, you know, things happen. Real world right now, 2020. A lot of shit going on, as we all know. What I know is we like to give you stuff for following and liking this podcast. So this week, month, we're going to give you this 2020 Absolute Baseball Blaster Box. Got a retail value of 30 bucks. And what do they got to do, AJ, to win this bad boy? All right, this is your last chance to win this one. So what you guys need to do is like and share publicly on Facebook. Like and comment over on YouTube. Share us on Twitter. Or like and comment on Podbean, Google Play, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, and, of course, iHeartRadio. You go any of those places, it gets you a chance to win on each of them. This is your last chance to win this one. And then next week, we will be talking about what next time's gift giveaway is going to be. We Yeah, and you are picking up that one, aren't I've you? been picking that one up. I've got something special planned for our gamers out there. Heck yeah, nice. Very good. Well, let's just get into it this week. We'll get into the markets. Gold, $1,964. Up 20 bucks. Silver, 2747 Up a buck about from the Friday before. Up about a dollar. All good signs as we see what's going on in the world today. Obviously, gold and silver are going to keep going up. A lot of turmoil going on, not just in this country, but worldwide. Um, You know, money's collapsing in a lot of places and the dollar's falling. Uh, As that happens, you're going to see metals rise. Uh, With the presidential election going on, that's just going to happen even more so. Yep, and Dow went up. It's at 28,635, up about 1,000 points almost. I think 900 since last week. But I would expect it to go down. My prediction is that going into the presidential election with so much turmoil going on around the world, we could see as much as another 1,000, if not a 2,000-point dip, get us down to 25,000, might even dip lower if we hit another recession piece here. It depends on so many factors, including, you know, or is there going to be more stimulus help coming out? A lot of people are facing evictions at the end of this month. All that's going to start showing in the numbers. Yep, I just heard today, I guess the airline, uh, the airline stimulus package for airline companies goes out October 31st, so... That's probably when stuff's really going to hit the fan. And everything's right before the election, too, coincidentally. Yep. So, once again, buy your medals. Gold, Gold and silver. And silver. Good choices right yes, now. Yes, good choices. What else is good choices? It's all the fine other collectibles we sell here. We sell a lot of items, so we like to go over them every week with you and tell you what we got in new for new releases. And for sports cards, we had two big products. Five Star Baseball came out. That's $200 a pack. And then we also had Panini Black Football come out. And that's $250 a pack. Absolutely. Over on the gaming card side, we had the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Tins for 2020 come out. They were hot. They were in. They were out. Took us about a day to sell out of all of them. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh! players, for coming in and grabbing them. We have a couple pulled to the side for a little casual event tonight. But beyond that, they're in and out product. I think we have another case coming from one of our extra distributors that Chris got his hands on next week, though. Hopefully. So hopefully, hopefully so. Never can tell nowadays when it comes to We can order it, and it could just never show. It's tough to say. Right. They're like, yeah, we know you ordered 12 cases, but we're only going to give you one. I can sell it to somebody else for more. Mm -hmm. True that. Well, we work our butts off to getting you every week is new comic books. And And Chris will share those with you right now. New comic books. New comic books picks from the beard. All right. I got some good ones. First up, we got Fantastic Four Antithesis number one. It's a sad thing on the cover of this by Neil Adams. Why so glum thing? Yes. Why so glum? Because he's always glum because he's a giant rock. He <laughs> he is a bit of man. a mope, isn't he? He's a giant rock, man. He's it looks like his, about his moping thing. days continue on the cover of this by Neil Adams, eh? Yes, yes, they do. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, book written by Mark Wade and Neil Adams. I was hoping Neil Adams would just draw it, but. <laughs> it, it's really good. It looks well, really he's good. Conti- like Fantastic Four. Mark Wade's keep- a great writer, so keeping the mope alive. Keeping, keeping the, the mope, mope alive. alive. Can't have happy thing. Even though he got married and was happy for a while, he's just, but th- this is a different timeline. I think it's not. Well, I see a dead Silver Surfer on the cover too, so that might be part of the reason. Well, he died and got better. Open so, air on a little you bit. Know. You know, yeah, sure. Sure. 
That's because Silver Surfer mopes so much he brings everybody else down. Yes, he does. And we got Dr. Afra, number three. Dr. Afra's been the fun Star Wars book. It's Tomb Raider in the Star Wars universe. That's Is someone it? who's not mopey and just gets it done, Dr. Nope. Afra. Well, she's got a cool, she's got a couple crazy psychotic robots she hangs out with. Right? Yeah. Great book. Star Wars. Worked, worked for Darth Vader for a while. And Vader ejected her out the airlock because the Emperor found out about her. Marvel Star Wars universe been very well. Well done. Well by done. Marvel, by Vader and Afro have been they've been killing it. Yeah. Chris Gregor Hertz and too. Eddie Rhodes, the third, joining us. What, what up, up Eddie guys? Rhodes? I saw Anthony. Matt Gonzalez. Joined us earlier. What up, Anthony? Let's go. What up? We got Detective Comics 126. The next chapter in the ongoing Joker War side. That's a badass cover. Badass killer croc cover there. Joker War still going on. A lot of excitement. A lot of people reading that. Yep. And the back of this book has an ad for the Superman animated Man of Tomorrow. Watched that last night while we were doing a fantasy football broad draft. And it's it was very entertaining. I kind of enjoyed it. It was a nice take of an early Superman story. It had special appearances by Martian Manhunter and everybody's favorite bounty hunter, Lobo. James's oh. favorite guy. Nice. The main man. The main man himself. I highly recommend it if you get a chance to watch it. And then the book of the week. It's Batman. Three Jokers. My favorite cover of this book, too. Joker it's all, Fish. It's all out of the best cover of that, though. It's where's the bloody crowbar after you got done whooping up Jason Todd. I still think this is the best cover with the Joker fish, sir. This is my favorite cover. Looks in, great. In the collector groups that I'm in, like everyone's like, hey, where's the where are they at? Where are they at? They, they just know they sold out that quick. We got them. We have some in stock. We ordered heavy on this book. We do still have these in stock at all seas. There you go, guys. Get them. All Why seas. not order a lot of Jokers? This Come book on. This book has been five years in the making. Yes, it has. It goes back to pre-rebirth, back to the new 52 Justice League Dark Side War. And, uh, you know, they were all sitting on the throne of eternity or throne of power, whatever it was called. Eternity what was called? would be Masters of the Universe. What's it called? The throne, throne of... of... Different place. The Throne of Eternity is what Shazam sits on. Yeah, no, it's the... the Eternia. It's, it's like the throne. I don't even... It's not the throne. It's a chair. Something like... Uh, it gave, it gave you... They're just going to look it up because I don't remember. It's been five years, so... Who's yeah. your guys' favorite Joker? Chris? Cesar Romero. Yeah. But I like the comic book Joker. I love Death in the Family Joker. Well, Mark, Ham Mobius Mark Hamill's a damn good Joker. Too. Mobius chair. He's in the Mobius chair. Mobius yes. chair is basically a godlike intelligent chair that you can ask questions and tells you things. He asks, who is the Joker? And the Mobius chair responds, there are three Jokers. Yeah. And that's where the concept of the clown prince of crime, the Joker, the gangster Joker, and the Joker, the anarchist are born. And I guess this book, no joke, is literally about three Jokers. Three different Jokers. Yeah, that's it. Three Jokers. Hot. Get it. Is that that it? Book. Is that you it? need a copy, we've got one. Picture right. in the beer, that was it, huh? That's it. Only four Love books. Short, short and sweet. To the point, sir. I like the, you know, we got buys of the week. We ran long with it last week, so we could give it a little we bit. We always have a lot of buys of the week to do. Always, every week, sir. Absolutely. There you go. You guys ever interested in selling in LCs? Just bring it by. We'll take a look at it for you. Real quick, before we get into buys of the week, want to give a shout out to Eddie Rhodes. Uh, got that card set done in the time for August. Beautiful. Our printer's being a little late for us. So hopefully, we'll have that set out within the next two weeks, right in the start of football. Eddie will be, I guess, on the podcast here coming up soon. We'll get into detail with the 50 card set by E3 Art. And he'll be a guest at the All Seas Fan Expo as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Going to be awesome, awesome time. Get your cards autographed by Mr. Rhodes, the very talented man himself, live in person. Oh, yeah. Or James will autograph his card for you. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want a beard autograph, right? Why wouldn't you? I don't know. Or why? Why I, would you? I, That's I, more probably a better you. question. Why, why wouldn't would you? That? Anyways, my <laughs> card is awesome. My, if you haven't seen the picture of my card, yeah, Eddie's autograph you should want. And we got a little example of Eddie's art right here. It's a Von Miller, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So not to do with the card set. It's just a, a art series he did. We have these available for sale at All Seas Collectibles. Check out E3 Art, guys. Awesome, awesome artist. A lot of exciting things coming in the future too. All right, now we'll jump into buys of the week. All right, All right. Beautiful. Let's see what, what did we get? I got some awesome sports cards. It's a sick card. First up, Panini Black, that brand new release we got. Had a customer pull this, and we purchased it, purchased it from him. <laughs> if I could talk. The camera's up there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm showing it here. I want to see it here. <laughs> A.J. Dillon. That is a laundry patch. I'm actually going to walk around, and I'll come. That's far. I don't want to. 
that's far for me to walk and i had to say on the I mic you know what i mean right it's, it's like four guys. steps he's gone too far right james might fall over i have to project into the mic all right mics. yeah we do Boom. anyways right that's a laundry patch nfl shield nike swoosh that's what you want on a card right there card number five is it, am i right aj uh yep two of five two of Open five bring our box open. green bay packer brand new rookie next up Carl Yaskrimski, yes. yes. Tops Luminous. Jose sold me that the other day, traded it in for some boxes. Yeah, that's a nice sweet, card, sweet auto on card. Carl's Yaz, Yaz Shrimsky, the Yaz man. His grandson's tearing it up with John. The brand new Immaculate Baseball. We've already sold out of this product. Customer pulled this card. Aaron Judge, auto on card. And that card's Sick. numbered to 99, I believe. 15? 10 of 15. 10 of 15. I'm sorry. 10 Even of better. 15. Wow, way better. <laughs> Sweet card, Aaron Judge, auto immaculate. Even better for his five star than licensed. All uh, right, truth that. <clears throat> Panini unlicensed baseball. Price. I know, but they you're being like a real cool Debbie cards. Downer, man. It's still a they, sweet they card. card. It's an amazing card. It's Aaron Judge, man. It is, bro. Love Aaron Judge. We want these bro, cards. Gaming cards. Go ahead, man. You got right. the mic. I, like I got Nelson. a handful of fun stuff, guys. Jed Nelson's <laughs> cool. <laughs> Not a ball player, though, but. On the Pokemon side this week, we had tons of cards. Lots of first edition cards come in. We're going to show you a couple here. On eBay right now, you can go find this Rocket Zapdos first edition. Great condition. As well as this Rocket's Mew 2 first edition. Awesome condition there. We also got Blaine's Charizard first edition. Beautiful piece. I've seen these go as high as 1300 Now they're going for somewhere between five and six. We're going to see this one is on eBay right now. It's kind of all over the place depending on condition. But this one, real nice. And that's the Jim Challenge shit, right? Jim Challenge, original. This, this one was really fun. This is a first edition base set Blastoise named Tortank because it is the French version. So it's a little cheaper than what you normally have to pay for the first edition English. If you're looking for just one to fill in, this might be a good piece to fill in that collection without having to dig into a couple Gs. Still, first edition. Yep, great piece. Now, this, this is the prize. We pulled in a Charizard Shame. GX Shiny. Really nice piece. We are not selling this one right away. We are going to be getting this piece graded. It that, is that centering just is super freaking beautiful. Going to send that to PSA on Monday. Yep. So once this gets graded, we'll update you all on what it was, and maybe we'll have that available. Have a lot of other awesome first edition cards that came here. I'm just going to hold up like a whole box full of just first editions and old stuff. Most of it, a lot of French, a lot of German. A lot of it's going to hit eBay. But if you guys want to come in and see it, come in tomorrow or Monday before it all gets listed. And that eBay account is this, guys. Yep, eBay account is all season all, good eBay. Always good stuff on there. Uh, you're going to see it here. Not always first, but always check there. Stuff goes on there every single day. Every day. Seven because days. Because if it doesn't, James Papa gets mad at us. I, 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 I have anxiety issues with it <laughs> myself. Gary be calling, hey, I'm checking that eBay channel. All right, what do we got, Chris? We got an X-Men 12. CGC graded 3.0. Well, that is, this is the 12 right here, my friend. That's uh, uh, the first thing. That's uh, this is 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 12. 12. Yeah, give me 12. <laughs> 12's on my Rewind. mind. So there Rewind. you go. Rewind. Okay. Well, 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 well. 12, I haven't taken enough yet. I don't know what's going down. That's the first appearance of the Juggernaut right there, guys. Juggernaut bitches, 3 5. <laughs> right. Beautiful, beautiful piece, everybody. Awesome X Men label on that. If you see the top of that CGC label, you see the little X Men picture. Yeah. Got to pay extra for that. It's awesome that we went forever without having any first appearances of the Juggernaut. We've gotten like five in the last yeah. two months. It's been crazy. Big Keith uh, asking, where's Bumpy? Bumpy did Where not. Is Bumpy? That emergency. That's a good question. Yeah, something came up. Bumpy couldn't be here. All right, now at X-Men 14, mm -hmm. CGC 3.0. This is the first appearance of the Sentinels. I was going to say Sentinels first. First Sentinels. Beautiful. I don't know what number that is. This is Batman 234. <laughs> Saw the cover, I was like, I must buy. Batman that, with Robin, 234. First appearance of Two-Face. That's also a Neil Adams book. 4.0, original Two-Face. Oh. Neil freaking Adams. Awesome. Best with Batman in our series. on art. Robin backup story. Beautiful, beautiful Silver Age. Yes, great, great book. And that was just the handful. That's a little bit of the buys we had this week. We had a lot of stuff come out, come through. Oh, it's come by, check time. it out. We've sold a lot already, but we still have a lot. Also, check out that All Seas account on eBay. All, All Seas Inc. Inc. All Seas Inc. on eBay. Check it out, guys. And as always, thanks for checking out this podcast with us. Like, share. Again, remind you, like and share. Win this absolute baseball box.
And now we'll go into a little bit of the sports news and entertainment news. I'll start with sports because that seems to be the bigger topic of everything going yep. on. Um, what happened in Kenosha, was uh, Wisconsin, the NBA decided that they needed to make a stand against police violence, um, especially for uh, African-American blacks in uh, America um, being unjustly killed by the police. Um, so they had a stoppage by the NBA. This also trickled down into the MLB, NHL, and the football even stopping training camps. Um, for a social awareness and trying to get the word out there to more people, we need to do something with the police force and, and the wrongful deaths. And so everything, as, I, as far as I know, everything's back on now. Uh, the biggest change being with NBA, they are coming back, but they got to work with their owners and they came up with a deal. And what they end up agreeing to is that all of the stadiums, all the big NBA stadiums are going to be used as voting registration, not voting registration, just voting, voting booth, places. Booths, right? Yep, booth places. So lots of room, lots of voting booths can fit in there. And as far as I heard, I think it's even being staffed by them. So it's not an issue of it being staffed. A way to for them to make sure that more people are able to get out and vote this season, especially since we're already risking some polling places. Yeah, absolutely. So it's going to be a big election this year. Despite what you believe, it's always powerful to vote. And not just for the president, but for all the other things. On vote the ballot. down ballot. Yeah. Local issues matter. Yeah, got, absolutely. Uh, got a quick question about the uh... – X-Men books, is that a first appearance of Juggernaut? Uh, yes, it was. Yes, yeah. it is. That yes, it is, was, Romulo. That book is graded CGC 3.5, and it's $350. Beautiful, beautiful book. First appearance of the Juggernaut. It's the Juggernaut, bitch. Yes, sir. Also, what's going on in sports? We're waiting for football to kick off. We're almost there. And, and Trish has arrived, so now Sep- it's an official podcast. September 14th, mm-hmm. we're waiting for football to kick off. We had our official All Seas Fantasy draft last night for our own little 10 man league, and it was quite fun. Thanks for all the guys who joined up and joined that fantasy league on short notice. Kyle, Stefan, yeah, thanks, bro. Exactly right. Who got Mahomes? Jose. Uh, who did get? I think Stefan got Mahomes. Stefan got him. Stefan got I'm him. I'm counting on you. Right? Got all right. right. I did that, I did that mm. rookie mistake and only drafted two wide receivers when we should have drafted at least four. But <laughs> Chris drafted okay. two wide receivers for his whole okay. fantasy football team. Look, you'll probably win now. I'm just saying. All right. Literally, you need more than two receivers. Probably. <laughs> right. So I got seven running backs. I know you guys so don't play. You and AJ I'll aren't big into fantasy football. Else. You would think you need more than two receivers, right? Yes. In fact, the last time that I did this, I had five wide receivers. There you go. There it is. I think uh, Romulo Ortiz wants to snag that juggernaut. Oh, you got it, brother. Yeah. Oh, well, Mr. Ortiz, we got you. He's got a whole slot here. Come on by. Absolutely. We got you, brother. All right, so for entertainment news, there really is only one topic to talk about this week. Do you that... need to no, sadly, that, that's going to go down to moves, uh, movie news here in a bit. But um, the passing of Black Panther. Mm. Chadwick Boseman passed away. He's had a four-year battle with colon cancer. It was stage three, progressed to stage four. He finally lost the battle. This goes, I know a lot of people out there for a while have been talking, saying things like it looked like he was losing weight, didn't necessarily look like he's in the best health. Well, he wasn't. He's been fighting this the whole time and didn't want anybody to know, wanted to be able to keep pushing forward and doing the movies at that time. Good for him, too, and God so. bless his soul for what, you know, for what he did and being a strong person as he was. Finding a cure for cancer is utmost importance. And I find it, you know, right where we need to be talking about with anything is the stop of cancer. So. Yep. And I want to just note, for all you guys out there who are Black Panther fans, if you guys had been collecting on this early, I don't know if you've watched over the last 24 hours, but number ones used to be between 30 and $45 are now easily 45 to 60 and they're going up. I wouldn't doubt if number one Black Panthers end at 100 plus for just ungraded copies. We're going to have to see what happens with the Black Panther uh, theatrical release in part yep. two. Uh, they, you said that was still in writing apparently, huh? It's in pre-production, I believe. Pre-production. So they might end up having to cast another Black Panther or they might have filmed enough pieces of it that if they could just put a body actor into the suit, we'll right. have to see how right. that all plays out. Kept Carrie Fisher alive. They did. They did. For two, did. For, for two movies. So, yeah. real quick, we'd like to introduce Trish to joining us on the podcast today. Thanks, yeah, I would have been here on time if we'd started on time. We did. Five fifteen. Five thirty. It says on the podcast. We do it. Five fifteen. We're gonna blame podcast Ken over here for scheduling it. Oh, our, our schedule <laughs> guy put five thirty instead of five. Well, that's because every time I put five fifteen, we never start on time. So then he so goes for five thirty, and then we actually we start on time five fifteen. We're early for Trish. Just causes a mess everywhere. Yes, it does. No, oh. thanks for being here, babe. Yeah. All right. So, also with entertainment news, we had a release of movies finally, right? Yep. New Mutants. Chris, did you see it? Not yet. Not yet. Chris, uh, did I've you heard see good things? But 
Bill and Ted, did you see it? I have not. But Ken, I have. Ken, Ken, Ken has seen it. it. Somebody's still, on it. I still have it for a day and a half. I will watch it again. Oh, you got it on the Roku or what? Uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. Nice, nice. How was it? It was really good. Uh, you know, no no spoilers. Obviously, I won't give any spoilers. Uh, it is it is what you would expect of a Bill and Ted movie. Uh, in my personal opinion, the daughters overacted a little bit, but to the point where they're alike how they how they the two acted in the first movie that so works. not not so much the second movie but more like the first movie so it brought a lot of that kind of like funniness that kind of stuff their interactions with themselves mm-hmm. always hilarious this is what happened to wild stallions they, wild they saved stallions. the universe i guess and that's I mean, it how's their music career going they didn't I, i'm have not gonna one say <laughs> there was one there was, they, there's they, one yeah they, they talk about it it's like the first you know 10 five minutes of it they Talk nice. about all that. Gotta but have wild stallions. There is an end credit scene at the very end. So mm-hmm. if you're going to go watch it in the movie theater, or even if you get it uh, for streaming, watch it till the very, very end. Hmm. So okay. watch it. It's hilarious. It's pretty funny. Cool. Nice. Right on. I've heard some good things about New Mutants. Haven't had a chance to see it yet. Uh-oh. Mutants. Mutants. I've also heard, like I'm excited to see it, but I've heard some concerning things. I know the whole point was it's supposed to be kind of like a horror feeling X Men. And it's supposed to be a way to tie some of these new ones in with the older stories and leave it open to the Disney world. Apparently, from the early versions of this, they've been leaking some of those out, and there's been a couple complaints, including Rob McLeod, who created the New Mutants, um, with Rob McLeod, and I'd have to look up the other guy's name. I remember McLeod's name because he complained just like three days ago that they fucked his name up in the movie. They, they spelled it wrong? They credit Rob McLeod. Ooh. <laughs> M-A-C in there? M-A-C instead of M-C. Ouch. Ooh, ouch. And he was like, this is stupid. They already ruined a lot of what I gave these characters. I'm taking my name off the movie. Uh, they took it it's not appropriate. Yeah, you, that's you can't, I mean, you, you can take your movie. I didn't do this. It's like, eh. Well, I guess he had some complaints with some I mean, It's a name, though. It's, 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 you know, get it right. Back to check. That yeah. is, What's isn't appropriate that the and what was uh, done incorrectly Appropriate and incorrect are two different things. Appropriate means that that's okay, inappropriate. It's out of line. Yeah, it's out of line. I would take offense. I take offense. I'd be pissed. And I guess his other thing he's upset about was so he was the artist on him, did a lot of the actual character design, and they really took some liberties with what some of them are. And he like spelled out. He's like, you know, I don't necessarily like Maisie Williams playing the character she's playing, although I like Maisie Williams. I don't like this person playing this character, although I like them. But and he's like, but the big issue for me was. Oh, I'd have to refine it. One of the characters is supposed to essentially be a short, he said, short brown skinned guy, um, and it's played by like a large white kid. And so he's like, that's the one that really bugged me the most. Like, you've basically taken everything I added to it as the artist creating these characters out and just thrown in anybody you wanted to and gave them those names. Well, that's Hollywood for you. Right. They they do what they want, nobody tells them. He's going to do it with comic book movies all the time, too, as well, for some reason. What? Yeah, what I did here, Nate, Nate went and watched it uh, over in his nook of the, neck of the woods over in Arvada. No, I like nook of the woods. Nook of the woods. That's yeah. new. <laughs> We're going to make a catch. <laughs> you know, he said it was, uh, you know, it's a, obviously it's a darker version of what you expect, but it was also filmed two plus years ago. So the actors that you know now, you can see the age different. Like, it's like, oh, well, they're a lot younger in this movie. Yeah, is that old? Really? And, it, 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 was, it, was, it was supposed to be done. It was supposed, it was to, be, supposed to be Fox. It yeah, was it was supposed to be a series. Disney had Fox. Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess you're right. Yeah, it's been a while ago. Everyone kept speculating that comic books would go up forever and ever and ever, and it really has not. Never so, did. Even with this movie release, we haven't seen that spike. And partly because they didn't really do the new mutants as we know them. Some of them are in there, but it's not the people we know. That yeah, seems what would be happening with Sony down there. I am excited to go they see it. They do whatever there. they want. Yeah. <laughs> we do what we don't. Fuck you. We do what we want. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I don't know what the change here is, but everything I've seen has said that the best thing about the movie is the change they made to Lockheed. So for those of you that don't know, Lockheed's the little purple dragon oh, that yeah. Kitty Pride has. Yeah. I think they might have gone full on big dragon, oh, geez. but we, we're going to see what they did with it. Go a little Game of Thrones on it, huh? Something. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, Macy Williams is in there. Go Game of Thrones. That area sure. Stark in there. She's the purple dragon. Let's just I, didn't, I didn't know who that was. That's who that is, Arya Stark. Ground. That's Macy Williams. Yeah. Oh, who is she in New Mutants? Will Smith. Oh, I so yeah, yeah, okay, that's bad casting. I don't like that at all. I got to tell you, she I wasn't a huge fan of Arya Stark anyway. So. Macy Williams yeah. is. Yeah, no, she's. Uh, no, Macy Williams is the young Arya Stark. 
No, in New Mutants. Oh, in New Mutants. Yes. She's Sorry. Wolfsbane. Yes, yeah, she she's is. Wolfsbane. Right. I mean, that's what they're talking about. It's like, the casting was not mm-hmm. great. Great actors sounds horrible. given bad roles. Yeah, it sounds horrible. Not good, sir. And, and just good. because it's worth mentioning again, we got Kurt, and for the people that are just listening to this podcast, Kurt says, man, look at a Chris and his Alfred Hitchcock profile picture. Dun, 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 dun. dun. <laughs> good evening, Kurt. Chris, Chris <laughs> is not nearly as cool <laughs> like as Alfred Chris. Hitchcock. I wish he was, but he's not. I no, I wish I was that cool. <laughs> yeah. Alfred Hitchcock, badass. I just got to say, I just got to get this off my chest. Well, and well, I know yeah. it's been a long time since we had to, to tolerate – the last season of Game of Thrones, but mm-hmm. really the thing that pissed me off about Arya Stark's character is that they built her up huge to, to something that could have been great, and it was all for naught. Who is she? Uh, she? I never watched it. She, well, it's too much. Yeah, I yeah. can't even explain yeah, who yeah, Arya yeah. Stark is. She wasn't the queen with the dragons? No. no. She, okay, never mind. No, she was going to be this little queen. badass that, that was going to be not uh, attached to her name to go around all like ninja assassin, and then she ended up not doing and, that. No, she kills us. Is that the one who kills a zombie? Yeah, queen? she kills the zombie. That's so yeah. fucking stupid. And I nah, think that's not right there. <laughs> I think it could work, and they like they build her up, and she could be the one to kill the zombie king or the what? What is mm, it? Uh, white. Whatever he was. Whatever the head of the White Walkers. We'll just go with but zombie king. Sounds better. Whatever. I think the it. whole issue ultimately, and that came down to they needed two seasons for that last season because they just yeah. rushed that shit. There that was no, yeah. there was no justifying anything. And kind of like what we can go into next nope. is a. Uh, the and big, how they... Zack Snyder and his uh, big, huge uh, release Justice of the Snyder League. Cut. The Justice Snyder League. Cut coming. Oof. Four parts. Four parts. Now, see, Superman, Batman should have been two movies. Doomsday. Easy. It was originally supposed Easy. to be. There was so yeah, much stuff been. in tech. I wish you could go all the way back to Superman, Batman before Justice League. And go. Well, they, they cut out the Green Lantern, too, though. Right. There there was a Green Lantern part in the in the trailer. And, Ryan Reynolds, and then they cut it out. And, they and Ryan Reynolds has always been down to do the Green Lantern again. And He's never said he wouldn't do Green Lantern. Now it was oh, yeah. just a, it was like a shot of green light and it was like Alfred uh Alfred was talking to the Green Lantern, I think it was. And that's none of it's in it. And none of that was in there. Mm-hmm. In, oh, that's kinda lame. You can't get well, put Kurt, something in and then take it out. Kurt Bishop has been home lame. praying, wishing, wishing on the star, fallen star. That the Zack Snyder cut was going to get released. Sacrifice his marriage. Release, huh? To release. almost a detriment <laughs> of release. his marriage. I know, to a detriment of his marriage. <laughs> He's putting money to Kickstarters, uh, funding Zack Snyder's, no whatever way. he Brandy's needed to do. No way, a good woman. It's not Brandy, don't leave him. Yeah. It's almost over. Nowhere. So, almost over. can't wait to watch it. Hopefully, it'll be epic. And I know Kurt and Brian Haggerty both in they are really looking for it. vicious anticipation for it. They bought the sweatshirts. Yes, we they did. See. They we bought sweatshirts for it. They got they swag. Did. They got swag for it. I, I've got to say this. Last time, uh, th- this is something that came out since last time, but we're talking Justice League. Last time we talked Suicide Squad. Yes. Some of these people, we got the trailer that just shows who they're playing. We talked Idris Elba is playing Blood, not Shot Blood, Stroke or something. Um, who the hell is Blood Stroke? Oh, low-level C villain only been in like two issues. Bloodshot shot after he had he, a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> He's all <laughs> <laughs> So, first on the collectible side, we've already talked about this in store, but some of those issues already going up. So oh, I'm sure people like are digging through the back issues. <laughs> Super there. Boy number six, King Shark's first appearance, going up. A couple of those, but for you know, those... King Shark's a badass. I don't oh, care. Yeah. King, King Shark? Shark. King Shark. Shark. King Shark. Shark. Not Shark. Shark. So, Sharks. for those of you who didn't King know, Shark. though, last week we talked about how some of the people <laughs> weren't from... DC that you had Nathan Fillion playing TDK. That's all they said is TDK, and he's not actually a DC person. It has come out who he is. I'm so excited about this. TDK stands for the Detachable Kid, which is the name that they are giving to Arm Fall Off Man from DC. His power, he can rip his arm off and beat you with it. Oh, or any right, or like any it. appendage or what? It's just the I think it's any appendage or arms and legs. Much well, like the old nineties hit song <laughs> Detachable <laughs> Penis. That was a horrible song. <laughs> That's what detachable I penis. You remember that horrible song Detachable oh, I Penis? Remember that. So they played it at, in, along the same lineup as the time as where they were playing the Roly Poly Fish Head song that Chris Klein reminded Poly. me of the other day. So I fully expect <laughs> Nathan Fillion to be in the movie like two minutes, long enough to rip his arm off, hit someone with it, and then get shot in the face. Well, oh. okay. that <laughs> yeah, would be suicide. Keith, that would be badass. Keith Cruz, Nightwing is a badass. Keith oh, of course, Nightwing Keith Cruz, you're a badass. Oh. Didn't know he changed that last name. He must have finally got in to the Tom Cruise family bloodline. Also going to speak for Ryan right here. Ryan learned something. We last week talked about uh, Gotham Knights. We thought it was going to be Damian Wayne as Robin. Ryan went and contacted the creators of the game to confirm. It is not Damian Wayne. It is Ryan's boy, Tim Drake. Tim Drake right? going to be the Robin. Oh, yeah, Fucking Tim horrible Drake. choice. Over Damian? Over Damian. I'd have taken Damian myself and done a Red Robin. Me and Ryan already had that talk. Horrible. Can't go wrong with Horrible. Tim Drake. Horrible. 
Yeah, you can. <laughs> he wears red tights. Damian yes. Wayne with a sword, man. Okay. So you can't wear the shorts. Better than the lion ass gay green Dick Grayson one. I'm not saying forever. Damian doesn't. Hey, that's why we Damian. like Dick Grayson in his Nightwing suit. Don't and that's why we like Damian because he doesn't wear any of that. Shit. Listen, wearing <laughs> tights is you get the flexibility, you can maneuver around. That is, you're getting in the way. It's great. Don't judge. Then short shorts. Well, I don't judge. Mel Brooks man. No short shorts. They write up the movie crack. called Men in Tights. Yeah, this is because they were men. They were men in tights, and they pranced around the forest looking for tights. Tights. Yeah, for fights. Speaking of entertainment, hey, off great, bright green tights and, hey, and things Chris is excited about, Mulan, free on Disney. Chris has probably seen is Mulan four it, times already. Oh, shit, That's the news of the day. That. It's not coming out till December free. Oh, shit. I, in, I in thought December. it was already out. Sorry, Chris. Sorry to disappoint you. We're breaking people's hearts. It like is $30. That. <laughs> it, it'll be $30 between, I think, September and December for anybody to watch then. Oh, and he's then ready it'll to go buy that. Free Repaid? come December. I can I'm, wait. I'm, yeah, I'm going. It's going. I don't want to watch it. Friday Live. I'm in. I'll watch it by myself then. Sir. Move on. Move I'll, I'll watch. On. There's no Mushu, which is kind of sad. There is no Mushu. But... Like, how yeah. can you have that without Mushu? But it's got a hell of a cast. I've got Mushu on my neck. To I'm looking forward to it really like do. I would look forward to a Kung this Fu This is Mushu. Mushu. Oh, great, all oh, powerful Mushu. 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 Yep. Mushu's no, on my I, neck. I'm looking forward to it as a Kung Fu movie because the fighting sequences so far look great. Yeah. You got Jackie Chan's in it and Jet Li's in it. And... Ooh, Jet Li. I like Jet Li. As long as it's not like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, that movie, as badass as it kind of was, it bored me. Did you sit there with your popcorn and sit? I fell asleep. Fell asleep in Crouching Tiger? Like Prince from uh, Dave Chappelle. Not meant for kung fu movies, apparently. Uh, Kung Fu Hustle, number two, is being made, right? That movie was supposed to be out, or a movie was made like like three years (laughs) ago. Wasn't that supposed to be? Yeah. If it's not Power Rangers, Ken doesn't care. (laughs) No. Hey, I'm all in for Kung Fu Hustle, too, because Kung Fu Hustle was an amazing movie. It was awesome. Sure. Right. What's going to be? A- <laughs> James has no idea what Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, is. I've seen. Kung- I was just watching it the other night. Trish told me to turn it off. Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle is great. TV channel. It's on Netflix. It, it is. is. It is right now. Now listen. All see Stan Expo is awesome. That's coming up it October third and fourth. Fourth, my friend. We went over with uh, Greg and all with this whole social distancing and everything going on. It's becoming a real pain in the ass, to be honest with you. Everything we have to go through for this show. So. Hopefully everybody will come out and it'll be worthwhile, but it is becoming to the point where I'm like, wow. It's annoying. But we are going through it for the fans. We are. It's just annoying, Ken. It is. We're down to, uh, I can only have 17 dealers in the showroom, 17 booths, so I'll have 17 vendors in the main showroom. Keep the occupancy. I'm going to still say 50 to 100 people in there at a time. I still didn't get a real number on that. Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll probably be at that probably 60 mark. It, it They're not going to give us a full number until like the week before right probably. so we don't really know yeah. right end of october is when the doom line's coming so i think we'll be fine october 3rd and 4th basically here's the bottom line if you're comfortable and you want to go out to a collectible show see down. stuff and do stuff come on down if you're scared about catching the coronavirus or covid19 i, I god bless you don't go out you know what i mean Listen. i wouldn't go to the show to be honest with you but we will have it socially distanced six feet between everybody at all times that bubble working and you know we'll keep the occupancy of the showroom down and we had to keep the vendors down. No celebrities, and we'll have some lo- local great artists, like I said, Eddie Rhodes, Zing Zin, and uh, actually Jeffrey Peterson from Las Vegas, Las Vegas, the 420 comic himself. Excited to there. hang out with him again. He was he was a lot of fun. When did we when ever we get a? Vegas. We talked on the show about maybe getting a comic set set up at the end of the night. Can we talk any further on this? No, no, no. but. Dude, that I know it's not going to happen. There. What we're going to do is do the podcast live from the fan fan That'll be fun. The expo there. So we'll I do like that, that live. You know who will Saturday be there night. is Power Ranger Anthony. He will be. He there. will be there. He will have new merch available by then. It's way before then, but uh, we'll be making it. Over He's the got next you working weeks. in the sweatshop now too. <laughs> I, I am a sweatshop basically in my apartment. So Ken presses the t-shirts for all C's. <laughs> Power Ranger Anthony. <laughs> Fool's Gold Barbecue. No, you doing the Fool's Gold Barbecue it, one? It will be. I got a. I got a. Uh, the printer that I think I'm going to be getting for like the full color. That's not like the screen printing. Mm-hmm. It's like a. It's called dye sublimation, uh, and it's. It makes it look like it's kind of screen printed, but it works better. And it just. It doesn't. The ink doesn't. Is that vinyl good. printing? That little vinyl printing. Yeah. Bonnie's recently gotten into sublimation dye printing, and it's really fun. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Well, depending on who, like, like for Anthony, I'm working on something. Uh, I did find a vendor that will allow me to buy. They'll they'll make all the print print out sheets for me. Mm-hmm. I gotta buy a certain number, but 
you know, it's a decent price. So I'll probably end up getting those for like fulls gold for Anthony. But for smaller runs, I have to do by myself because what I'm going to do is I'm not going to, I'm not going to put a, like a minimum limit on stuff I do for people. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, yeah. if they want one or two items, that's it. Fine, whatever. You know, what else we're going to do? I have that all season expo back to that again. Yeah. Special guest Beckett and services. Grading will be there. Grading services by Beckett. That, what that means is you can bring cards there, submit them with Beckett. You will have uh, free shipping to you, and they will send them back to you after the show graded. But it's the most secure, safest way to su- submit and grade your cards is with uh, Mike there in live in person at the show. You can go over the grading process with him. Feel secure with leaving your cards with him. I know how it is when you have thousands and thousands of dollars of cards. You don't want to leave them with the grading company. But, hey, what you going to do? I've got at least two people who come into the gaming arena looking to grade cards. They're waiting for the show because going to that same note, you don't necessarily want to send thousands and thousands of dollars to them. Best, most secure way you can do that is come see Mike, put it in his hand. He will get it to PSA or Beckett for you. Mm-hmm. Show him that Charizard again. And I do have some big announcements coming. I can't confirm yet, but one of the huge auction houses that takes assignments and deals and sports cards might be there. I don't want to say for sure. I'll come back with you later this week. Yep. If we you guys had that, that Charizard, if you have this Charizard and you don't get it graded, that is probably the – the craziest move. Well, that don't get it great if it's beat up. You don't get. I mean, if it's graded. ripped or something like that. But I'm saying, if that's if it's good enough to take. Not it just graded, ripped, sir, but it. we also call it surface wear, oh, surface corner wear, wear, edge wear, yeah. creasing. If you scratches. think you're going to get lower than a seven, don't bother with that Charizard. On just wasted mo- your money. On anything modern. Yep. Essentially, if you got alpha cards, grade them. I don't care if you get a two or three. It's and an we'll alpha. We'll help you out you usually. We can't look at a whole stack of cards for you, but we'll give you a rough idea, you know, if you ever have any questions. Absolutely. We've had guys come into us, give us sex cards, and ask us what's worth grading and what's worth selling. And we just worked with James last time. We had Beckett here, went through his cards, chose out the ones for him that he needed to send to get graded. And then the rest of those, he sold into us, and we put online. There you go. Boom. Yeah, bang, what was boom. that fire card? The uh, the autograph one that, it, that we got Ooh, back? Fire Elemental. Yeah, oh, fire yeah. Fire Elemental. Elemental. Yeah. by Melissa Benson. That yep. was one of my favorite cards when I used to – when I first started playing it. Speaking of autographs, JSA will be in attendance at All Seeds yeah, Fan yeah. Expo. Authenticate your autographs. Right. They'll be taking submissions there as well and doing live grading on autographs. A little easier to do with the autograph authentications because they know a lot of them just by looking at them. Yeah. James has a stack. I do have uh, a stack. From the bar- baseball card stuff. Yes, I do have a stack to submit myself. And with that, how many questions do we have? We've got a lot of comments on here. You know, so we got a little time today, you know, and we have no guests. Why don't we interact with our uh, he said our he, fans? You know, he's out watching here, Mulan Thursday night. I believe he, that's what he's nice. wanted to see. Oh, you're paying uh, for it, Keith? Yeah, you paying for Mulan? Uh, Chris, you can come over by and watch it. Oh, Chris. You know, and Jet Li doesn't fight in Mulan. Dude's night. So, yes, I know Jet Li doesn't fight in <laughs> like the end. Keith, what will you be making for dinner for Chris if he comes over? <laughs> yeah, and Keith, yes, we want to know. If, and why is uh, only Chris invited? You can't. Them. Sounds like you a got candlelight a house to be in the I do, but I'd love to go watch Mulan. <laughs> Chris has a house. Yeah. Sounds like a candlelight evening, AJ, for two. So, uh, what, what else we got? What other questions we have? Anything no, I think this is a great I see time. a whole bunch on the side over here. So, is we've is done that all this shit talking over there? Yeah, none of them. Oh, yeah, mostly right people shit talking at you. Oh. We've done this a couple times before, though. If you guys have any questions, we don't have a guest today. This is the time. Ask us questions. Ask us, do you have a collectible you want to check in on? Do you? Have two random people you want to know who Chris thinks would win in a fight. This is the best <laughs> time have that, yeah. you have ever had to just ask the group questions. Anytime a guest isn't here, we fill in this empty time with you as our guest. Or if you just want us to shut the fuck up and get off, we will get out. I'll go. Right. Hey, hey, well, Call I'll, I'll, I'll wait to get off. All right. You mean get off this podcast? Okay. Well, don't hey, be approved. No one's on. <laughs> we can no, all get off. No one's interested in you getting off in any other way around here, sir. Maybe stay puffed. You know, Anyhow, let's go you know, talk Chris about anything. 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 Else. anything else. You know what we got going on tomorrow? <laughs> what? Is the live auction. Oh, yeah. See, or not auction. Ah. Sorry, live sale. All sees live sale. Yeah, live sale. Keep live sale. Up. Oh, thank you, Keith. Thank you, sir. I don't know what happened to Bumpy. had an emergency. My friend could not make it. Check out Bumpy's comic book. That's what we need to talk about. Oh, yeah. Promote his comic book real quick, guys. So, And his uh, brand of gloves for MMA fighting as well. I'm super excited about this. Um, Chris, me, we all got Bumpy's comic early, thinking he was going to come by, had a chance to read through it. It was good. We had a couple things we were going to ask Bumpy on the show here that we could just touch base on. I know me and Chris both kind of had the comment of, you call it the High City instead right. of just Mile, mile high, city? high City? It's, it's like clearly Denver, first, man. What's the name of, later, well, says let's it's... do this right, though. First of all, guys, what's the name of Bumpy's book? 
Oh, guy. it is Adrena Lin. Yes. With Adrena the dash. Adrena, Adrena Lin. Lin. It's about an MMA fighter, correct? Yes. A wrestle. So it starts with he's a wrestler. Right. A lot of MMA fighters come yep. up that way. Muay he Shai. state championship. Then gets into. A national championship. A Pepsi Center? Uh, it was in the Wild High City, so it looked a lot like the Pepsi. It was the Pepsi and Center. They Over go the as far as saying Over that, like, Broncos yeah, and Broncos Denver. and Rockies play here, so it's Denver. You could call it Mile High City. Well, yeah, because like later, on, later on in the in the thing, the guy has his first professional fight at the Denver Coliseum. Yep, sweet. And it's done really well. So right off the bat, the guy's won his state championship. He's got endorsements. He gets a new car, a new house, a new gym. He's just living the good life. And he gets in, and this was one of those things me and Chris were talking about. He gets in with a supplement specialist, one of those guys hooking yes. all those guys up it was with NSA, uh, not steroids. <laughs> NSAE supplements. Oh. And it was weird. I, I wish Bumpy was here to answer this, and that I'm sure he knows guys that he's basing these off of. Because this I'm guy sure is just sleazy and creepy enough that it has <laughs> oh, yeah, to be he's, real. He's, awesome. he's just the kind of guy you read, you're reading him, and you're like, God, that guy's little piece of crap and <laughs> his name is kyle warmington so that should tell oh, you, you he's a worm yeah, yeah worm. Worm. what kind Fuck of a worm. guy that guy is <laughs> kyle warmington is his name real piece of but shit but the artwork on it was really good the story was pretty good i'm looking forward to the next yeah, issue he crewed asking where do you get that comic at you it talk is digital to format only digital format only go to that website uh, i'm sure it's on adrenaline oh uh, yeah it's on the um uh, I didn't write that down, but it's on his. Uh, his company, well, Bumpy, this is you why should you show that off. It's, it's such a little podcast. cool. Yeah, Chris is half prepared. That that was his comic. He gave us these really cool thumb game drives. Game. Yeah, those are really cool. Which is too. the fanciest looking uh, thumb drive, drive I've ever seen. I believe I've been in IT 13 years, and that's the fanciest one I've come right? across. As well. You buy uh, Bumpy's yeah. gloves, his strike for it. What is his gloves called? His drive is uh, uh, the Supreme Striking. Supreme Striking gloves. And they're I the think... same kind of that they wear in the comic book, but you can actually, it looks like you can actually buy actual pairs of them through his website. Yeah, you go to that website, I'm sure you can find the comic book as well. Sup- Supreme Striking. I cannot talk lately. Supreme, Supreme striking. striking gloves. Gosh. It's all the. You know what it is? It's the all this smoke in the air. Yeah, it's it's choking like, us out. Even those of us that smoke already. I think I need a need a nap or something. I've, I've noticed because <laughs> because I wear the you know we wear the mask now yeah. that when I tuck underneath the mask that my you know my jaw doesn't open up all the way. So when you oh yeah like, I know I feel like I'm don't have the mask jawed. on and it's like ah oh, man I'm just you're Talking just like sore. a slack jaw yeah right? yeah messing uh, with my yeah, TMJ okay. right? yeah yeah I have noticed that as well yeah messing with a lot of stuff and that freaking mask me. The, you get in the acne yeah, under like your mask. Rash. Yeah, Nasty. like it's all scratching my face. The clients are like, mm, face you know? black. So with the All Seas Fan Expo, <laughs> it'll be two days again, October 3rd and 4th. And, uh, you know, free admission to everybody. Just be patient. There will be lines. There will be lines to get in for attendance. There will be a line for grading. There will be a line to see Anthony, the Power Ranger King And we'll have, we'll have people out there to, to direct you guys. Yes. So it's not going to be like mass chaos. Yeah, you're going to go in crew. one door. You're going to come out the other. There's going to be, we'll have arrows on the floor to the direction so we can kind of really keep everything as smooth as po- possible for the circumstances that we have to operate under. You right. Know? Yeah. Correct. It's, it's just, you know, we wanted to still bring a show to you guys. It's not about, you know, James isn't, doesn't ever make a dollar from these things. It's just a break even point. It's not about him making money. It's he wants to put the show together to bring collectibles into your hands to the collectors. And get people together and get you and get you the grading. You yeah, know, the, all, the grading is huge. Not we, just James, the Farnsworth family. The Farnsworths. That includes yeah. me and our son. <laughs> and uh, hey, mom, pa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mom, so you mom, Chris and I out yeah, of this? Right. We don't oh, want to bring anything to y'all. I <laughs> see no, 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 That Damn. is the Farnsworth family, the store. He all sees that. We're the crazy the umbrella of James. Yeah, James nobody is, likes us. James is umbrella. Beckett will also. I'm under your umbrella. I'm the one that freaking stand of that umbrella. Keith Chris saying, hey, Chris, thanks for HBO Max. Mike, we doing that? Oh, he didn't get that code. It's no matter about the HBO Max. The login Mike. access. I think we told him we stretched the limit on that login access on HBO Max. Oh, we'll, we'll let you know, Keith. That's a yeah, side topic. Yeah. Off the podcast, Beetlejuice. So Mike is, uh, Mike's going to be taking Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, CBC. CBC. Mike's going to be taking CBCS, right? Yes. You yep. can bring your comics. Comics, yeah, bring by us. Yeah, did I not mention that? JSA, Sorry. CCS, yeah. PS. Can I just say, I just noticed. For been, comic books and CBCS. I've been looking at this cool X-Men Wolverine grading label. Oh, it's up awesome. There. And it's cool because it's got the claw marks right in the middle and the claw marks over the three. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's just cool. I didn't notice that before. You know what bugs me about that? The three. 
Wolverine's not in that comic. I know. Yep. He's no yeah, Wolverine. Get away time. before Wolverine comes around. Do not tell Pete that's your HBO Max account that I did not set up. I know. I know. No, I did not set that up. <laughs> well, so why am I getting it? I don't even know what it is. Wait a minute. We'll not talk enough. about that later. I don't know what it is. Well, no, just You're for the back. record. He no. said. He said you never answered him. I guess is what he said. Well, I didn't see any. Problem message. Got busy. Yeah. Pete says James and Patricia you text watch me? Gangs of London tonight. We will. We need to. We need to, sir. <laughs> you got to text my cell phone. I don't respond on any other. Now here's Matt. And bring it up over the podcast at the back either. The farms for family says you're welcome and they thank you. For this. Yes, thank you much. Thank you much. I do want to go ahead and bring up since it is getting close here. The other thing we had mentioned today is we have Game to Gamer coming on the I think it's the twelfth September twelfth two weeks. We are going to have Super Smash Bros in the house. We are going to have Peter Ooh. Parker up here rocking a Super Smash Bros tournament on the twelfth. Come on in. It's you buy in, you get free energy drinks while playing. Yep. You're going to drink more energy drinks than you're going to pay for buy in. Yeah, he's sponsored got, by Monster Energy. He's got a couple guys next door who are already ready for it. Super excited! Our Smash Bros. Game to Gamer tournament. Come game, on out. Game to Gamer will also be in attendance at All Seas Fan Expo. And it sounds like we're doing Injustice too there. Keep some of the comic theme going. Yep, and you can play for free. Come play on out, see if you can beat AJ's Aquaman. All right. I am the ultimate cat lady. This okay, cat food purse. in her purse. <laughs> Done. <laughs> what are you bringing to this podcast today, lady? I am bringing purely cat. fancy feast fillets, natural tuna. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to have a snack. It. And on that Excuse one, me. we'll probably wrap this one up, huh? Wrap it up, time. Sounds like a good place. <laughs> yeah. Good night, folks. Good, good night, all. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Ken, you got we'll anything else? Fun news? Now, Next I'll, time. I can uh, play the outro. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew Gonzalez. You're the man. Thank you for all the support, everybody watching out there. We appreciate everybody. Short, small, small, small podcast tonight. Yes, small that's podcast, all right. But sometimes, that's all right. It's sometimes good. we go longer. Sometimes we go shorter. Just that's, makes you appreciate that's what she the said. ultimate ones. That's what yep. she said. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. Bye.